Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. As usual we're gonna um, look at all the measures and uh, including oil and uh, gold uh, to help you out with your uh, trading plans for the upcoming week. So uh, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, first of all uh, I'm very sorry for my voice today, uh, I'm not feeling very well but uh, of course I will always um, do these videos for you guys because many of you uh, wait for them and uh, I hear a lot about uh, that uh, they are helping you uh, making your plans so uh, yeah uh, sorry for that. Uh, as you see at the calendar, um, it is not the, the biggest week while we look at the major impact events on the calendar. We do have some of them, but uh, not many at all. You have to add the medium impact uh, as well uh, if you want to see a little bit more of what we, um, what we have to look for for the next week. But um, again, as major impact event, there is not many, but there is um, a lot of headlines anyway. Um, in my opinion, uh, it's going to be uh, again uh, all about uh, coronavirus and uh, how it's spreading and all that, uh, especially that we now start seeing a uh, situation getting um, worse in Iran and uh, Italy and uh, it seems like it is uh, spreading and uh, whatever uh, place you look at uh, the headlines are about uh, coronavirus so uh, that is uh, the main uh, driver of many markets at the moment so you need to keep an eye on that so we will start with the uh, dixie uh, let's take a look at the weekly time frame here as you see on the weekly time frame we uh, did a retest of this uh, previous high and actually traded above uh, that previous high for a short while there was an attempt also to close uh, this gap here as you see the, the market did reach uh, that um, the top of the gap almost to the pip before we started uh, to see uh, a little bit of a weakness uh, it could uh, you could call it profit taking it could uh, oh, whatever reason you want to call it but um, looking left we we did um, tag this uh, previous high to then uh, start reversing a little bit now the dollar is definitely a, a bullish uh, market uh, there is no discussion about that look at the uh, strengths of this whole move to the upside so uh, it will uh, maybe still be um, bullish longer term but uh, as one leg if we're gonna look at this um, even if you look at it at one leg like this or um, two legs uh, extension it is a pretty extended move here after those uh, couple of days drop here uh, the move was um, pretty extended and um, <clears throat> that we we may see some uh, correction on the dollar so uh, friday was significant move to the downside uh, bearish engulfing candle that did uh, engulf both uh, uh, Thursday and Wednesday candles so it was a pretty strong uh, bearish day but again uh, guys after uh, such a pretty extended move one should expect some uh, correction now for next week we are um, we see the Dixie going back to to uh, sit and retest at these uh, areas uh, once again and um, uh, again for next week what we want to be looking for to see uh, what is next here if this uh, was a really uh, bearish uh, momentum then we may see a correction like this a slow correction if that would be the case a bear flag and uh, maybe a continuation to the downside if we have new uh, fresh bears entering the market and not a some kind of uh, profit taking that triggered uh, this uh, uh, drop to the downside otherwise it is uh, actually um, uh, as I said retesting a previously broken structure and uh, if there is um, um, a uh, some kind of continuation to the upside from this uh, level here that is what we want to watch and see if this is only a retest and continuation so uh, keep an eye on where the price is testing right now uh, and the behavior of uh, the price at uh, such a level yeah that is uh, what I'm um, gonna be watching is it gonna be another strong impulse to the upside and a flag like this for that continuation or if we're gonna get a slow correction like 
like this and then one more drop to the downside if that would be the case a drop to the downside then the 98.40 uh, uh, area is uh, a um, good level to look at for uh, the bulls to try and defend once again but be careful it is a bullish market and uh, you should be uh, looking for um, the continuation uh, moves instead so one could also wait for this um, correction to end and start look for uh, continuation uh, the bullish continuation move uh, oil um, <coughs> gain some uh, momentum uh, after this uh, double bottom here uh, break uh, this retest and continuation I still think oil may uh, do another attempt to test the 55 area uh, I think we have a new range on oil for now at least short term and that is um, that is uh, the <coughs> 55 area as a um, possible uh, resistance up here and uh, 49 uh, 30 uh, down here as a possible support so uh, if we go up to uh, sorry we go down to lower time frame we see that on the four hour time frame we we have uh, this uh, nice uh, break retest continuation another retest and uh, potentially uh, next week 55 as a possible market objective before once again another drop so uh, keep an eye on 55 that is a key level uh, daily time frame <laughs> you see that we are in a very strong bearish market but uh, a correction back up to 55 that uh, is uh, very possible but it is also a pretty interesting resistance and support area been tested um, too many times as a trouble area as you see if we look left so uh, keep in mind that 55 level as a possible area for the bears to try and uh, enter this market uh, for a continuation to the downside so gold mm, uh, gold um, did a very strong break to the upside and usually when gold does something like this that is signaling a trouble somewhere uh, especially in the stock markets um, we had the situation um, now where gold up dollar is up and equities was up so this is not uh, normal uh, also we had jappy uh, week uh, so correlation was out of the windows but i usually um, see gold as the right uh, as the right one when things start getting confusion especially in correlation and seeing gold making this uh, pretty strong break on the weekly time frame you see it clearly here i think uh, this is signaling um, possible trouble ahead so uh, be careful i think we may see um, more trouble uh, <coughs> to come ahead especially for the stock markets and maybe to start seeing safe havens to uh, get stronger once again so on the weekly time frame and after the break above this previous high if we look left the next <laughs> Uh, normal level to to if you can call it that is the uh, one uh, 1800 as a uh, pretty interesting area up here as a possible longer term market objective and this is uh, something that i think um, possible uh, to happen we look at the gold on the weekly time frame and we see that we have a trending market to the upside so we should be looking for the continuation do not short it just because it went too far keep following the trend uh, that would be the best case in my opinion the question is do you buy it here at these highs of course not i think uh, you may wait uh, for uh, some kind of correction at least uh, at this uh, previous high here at around the one point um, uh, sorry one, uh, the 1610 area or a little bit lower at around the 1590 area for that before that continuation so better for uh, to wait for some correction if we look for a, a lower time frame we see also that uh, it is also pretty extended on the four hours so what i'm looking for as first is the 1610 as a possible level of interest if we get a correction so keep buying the dips on gold for now for the euro we have um, uh, last week uh, uh, the week before also we had a break below this previous low here i think uh, euro will close this gap and uh, probably even move lower so uh, i still think uh, the euro longer term will continue to the downside but short term and again after this pretty extended move um, we probably gonna see some correction to the upside so um, 
sell rallies is the main idea but uh, wait for a bit of a deeper correction the first level to watch is uh, up here at around the um, this area uh, the broken structure here would be the first level to watch for that uh, retest uh, and the the higher the better so uh, keep an eye on this if you get uh, a higher correction um, toward uh, even this area at around the monthly s1 uh, or 1.10 area that would be an even better level to short this market well uh, many ask uh, is this a, an opportunity to go long well it's up to you i don't like to uh, go long against a uh, bearish market maybe short term trades uh, scalp trades something like this when you see a breakout if you get a retest you may go for for that but you need to have um, uh, realistic uh, goals and uh, maybe uh, lower uh, take profit level than usual because you are going against the trend in any case now this uh, trend line is broken this range also got broken to the upside uh, the price um, did a nice push to the upside if you want to go uh, counter trend i think you need to wait for at least a retest of this uh, broken structure to then start looking for bullish evidence for that continuation at least toward this area as I mentioned as a possible level of interest for uh, the bears that would be the first area and the second level and the best level to short uh, the euro longer term uh, that may not happen next week uh, and it could happen next week who know that the price keep pushing higher toward this area before that continuation yeah so two levels to watch for the euro keep an eye on this level for that uh, possible continuation or the best would be a correction all the way toward um, a monthly s1 or 1.10 area that is really really a good level to short uh, this market for the sterling if we look on the daily time frame we're still uh, making this uh, what do you will call it consolidation squeezing uh, call it uh, whatever you want uh, but we had a retest of this previous low and then another uh, attempt or a, a bounce uh, last Friday with a bullish engulfing is there a possibility that um, uh, sterling push higher well uh, there is we may end up going sideways continue in this uh, some kind of choppy behavior here still no momentum neither to the downside or to the upside despite short term uh, nice moves so uh, last week um, in our trading room uh, we were looking for this after this uh, break to the downside we had first this break we which was a sell signal uh, back down and then when the price start moving higher we um, drew a Fibonacci retracement uh, um, uh, correction um, tool and uh, we were looking for this area as a possible um, kill zone between the 50 and 618 uh, to look for a possible break retest and continuation so we we're still looking at that as far as the price is below 1.300 as far as the price is failing to break higher here we may see one more leg to the downside and i still think this uh, could be the main idea here this market could also keep pushing higher toward this previous highs and um if uh, there is no break above this previous level it is also a good area to look for one more leg to the downside again we may end up uh, consolidating here for a while so uh, that is also a possible scenario to look for this uh, range play on uh, the sterling okay so where the price is testing right now this area here could be uh, an interesting level if there is no break above 1.3 uh, oh, oh, on this market you may look for a continuation to the downside usd jp we took a short um, scalp um, uh, trade the, the scalping part uh, is also uh, all, uh, already closed and uh, left some of the position open since it did reach 112 which is a key structure level this or was a limit order trade uh, without any um, confirmation um, it was not about just to be clear it wasn't because uh, the price moved much uh, you never trade uh, take a trade just because uh, the, the the price uh, moved uh, much uh, it was uh, a 
pretty interesting level that was acting as both uh, support and resistance in the past uh, previously we had a very very strong move to the downside from this 112 so that is the the main reason um, could this market continue push higher absolutely but um, I think it uh, after such a parabolic move uh, the price may do some correction and continuation to the upside and in my opinion if these um, bad headlines about the coronavirus uh, keep coming um, who knows uh, Jappy may uh, end up to being uh, safe haven once again which uh, it uh, it have been always been uh, but not at the moment so um, yeah uh, this uh, may continue to the downside and um, any break below these lows uh, here uh, or this uh, swing here if we go down to the one hour time frame uh, this is the last line of defense before the next level which is down here at around this area uh, where you may start seeing the bulls and the uh, push to the upside so um, keep an eye at, at, at around the 110 if this uh, level here got broken we may see continuation so uh, short term I'm looking for the possibility for uh, this market to uh, make a deeper correction before a continuation so one hour time frame uh, there was a failure to make new highs many many times here then it broke lower failed another time and now there is a possibility for continuation but keep an eye on this level this need to be broken for that um, continuation lower otherwise bulls may start defending already at this level to push it higher there is no more continuation to the upside if uh, 112 is not broken 112 need to be broken with a close strong close above that for that continuation New Zealand USD looking on the daily time frame and the weekly time frame we see that uh, the market uh, still uh, pretty weak uh, it did test this uh, nice uh, swing low here to then stop at that level there is potentially a possible continuation toward these lows as well uh, since the week closed below uh, this swing as well daily time frame uh, you see it clearly still lower lows lower highs major uh, break below um, and then when it reached this uh, support area uh, and tagged below that as well we start seeing some correction especially on against the weaker dollar on friday so uh, for this market uh, it is still bearish on uh, many time frames so i would say keep looking for this correction uh, um, to end and then look for a continuation first level would be uh, at around uh, s1 uh, weekly s1 from last week and this uh, previous swing uh, low if it get tested there is a possibility for that continuation this market need to show much more uh, than uh, a couple of bounce to the upside to be bullish again as you see we had a nice attempt here and it failed big time so one candle will not be enough to call it reversal as far as there is no higher highs and higher lows on the daily it is still bearish we're trading below the 200 moving average so keep trying to short uh, those correction the deeper the higher correction uh, that would be the better USD chief um, also uh, very weak on Friday so uh, we saw the price uh, reaching this area I mentioned this level to you guys last week as a very important level uh, we have the 200 moving average on the weekly we have this whole area here that been tested many times uh, you see how much troubles there was at these levels um, so uh, it got tested once again uh, go down to the daily time frame we saw that we we uh, during last week the lost uh, the price was losing momentum uh, first candle was a um, evening star uh, second candle was a hanging man for uh, also another uh, reversal signal and on friday uh, came that uh, very strong and uh, big drop to the downside the first sign was the break of the trend line and there was the continuation below these lows so uh, there is uh, we are now at the seller's zone so uh, i'm looking for a correction if it fails to make a new high this area up here could be a good level to sell it and uh, keep an eye on this uh, area down here as a possible target because after this um, double bottom here we had a break retest and the continuation and now we may getting another retest of that broken structure and continuation also is possible so um, short term 
look for a retest if it fails to make new highs sell it target down here because bulls may enter this area and try to push higher once again um, so keep an eye on that area usd cad also um, been sideways for the whole week so the week started here and as you see the whole week been uh, a sideways market uh, if we look on the daily time frame uh, you see how choppy it is the price still holding above the 200 moving average which is important we had this uh, pretty strong move so we have this uh, v-shaped move here and um, again above 200 moving average above yearly pivot point as far as we are holding above these levels there is potentially uh, one more leg to the upside to happen here and the bulls may try to keep pushing higher so this will be the deal breaker for this market if we see a break below this then we look for continuation otherwise keep seeing this as a possible support area for the continuation to the uh, to the upside okay pretty easy do not um, complicate it more than that um, Aussie USD also um, now uh, broke a major structure on the weekly time frame we have a close below this uh, last line of defense and if we look left there is a um, basically nothing to hold this market as support until we reach these levels down here so still bearish still uh, sell rallies market looking on the daily time frame we see how strong of a break we had here uh, lower so um, for now we look for a um, correction to the upside let me take these off this was a trade idea from last week which came through without much uh, trouble so uh, for now we look for uh, that correction to keep going higher if that would be the case and it, and uh, it fails to make a new high we look for a possible sell scenario from this area for a continuation to the downside so uh, broken structure here uh, we look for a retest and uh, then a continuation to the downside on uh, Aussie USD there's nothing else to do here yet uh, so uh, yeah that was basically it um, uh, for uh, this week's guys uh, thanks a lot and uh, again if you do like this video do not forget to hit the like button uh, add a comment and show your support thanks a lot see you next week bye bye